from Design Center will drag and drop two dynamic blocks into our drawing. Dynvert window, Dynvert wall template. Make the dimensions visible and we'll change the wall template to the required stud length. In this case, it is 116 and 1 quarter inches. The displayed dimension of the wall does not change until a regen or regen all command is executed. Move the dynamic window to the zero point of the wall and then move it to the required window header height. In this case, 97 and 1 8. Note that AutoCAD accepts dimensions without having to go to the command line when executing most commands of this type. Next, we change the window to the required width and height, 57 and 7 8 by 60 and 1 half inches. We do a regen and verify the window dimensions against requirements. We adjust the wall template so that all of the components will fit. Next from the design center we add the dynamic header block and the dynamic stud post block. Close Design Center and copy so that we have a king stud and a trimmer. Change the header to the required height. In this case, we need a 4 by 10. Move the header over the trimmer and make adjustments to the lengths of the king stud and trimmer. Mirror them to the other side of the window using the center point of the window and extend the header. From Design Center, add the subsill assembly. It is also dynamic and we do not need to extend it to dimension our components. Choose the dimension style we want to use and measure for the framing components. Once one assembly is done for a particular project, it is very easy to copy the assemblies and the text, making slight modifications as required by the structural or architectural constraints.